BlackRock has over 12 trillion that's managed on Aladdin. Since you're talking about Aladdin, how does it help in building better passive funds or active funds? Aladdin on its own set up and built so that it can actually support many, many different investment styles, asset classes, because if you think about the volume of assets that are managed on Aladdin, BlackRock has over 12 trillion that's managed on Aladdin. But then globally, that number is well north of 20 trillion because it's also used by other asset managers around the world. So all different styles of investing are supported firstly. But let's zoom in on Geo BlackRock, right? And how does it make a difference to us here in India? So if I think about the index business first, and I very specifically call it index and not passive because we truly believe that there is nothing passive about index investing. The objective of index investing is to track a benchmark and deliver as close a tracking difference to that benchmark as possible. And you actually need to be very proactive to do that. So it's not a passive action. The information that we have in terms of transaction costs is a big influencer. Right, So liquidity and transaction costs. So if you think about tracking a benchmark for a fund manager, the biggest challenge there is going to be the transaction costs that I incurred in tracking that benchmark. The, the ability to have the view on what could the tracking error or a tracking difference, more importantly, so which is the post realized transaction cost, be for, let's say, a rebalance event, which is typically the biggest event for an index fund. Having that at your desktop in your tool in advance of putting the order through is super powerful. And then having, a, let's say, the liquidity parameters for the baskets of stocks that you want to be trading available in front of you for a dealer is super powerful. So that means that the fund managers and the dealers are able to execute rebalance strategies with a very sharp view of minimizing total impact, which again results in better tracking, which means that the end customer is getting as close to the index return as possible. That is the objective. That's kind of how it plays a differentiating role. Now, the fact that it can do all of that and still scale is very important, but I'm talking about it more from an end customer returns perspective is where the big differentiator comes.